There's a reason the first time we send a new rocket to the moon, we send it without people on board. We need to try many things, go through many phases of the mission, qualify a vehicle in a safe way before we send people into the unknown. Every time we crash, we learn. Being comfortable with crashing allows you to, to accelerate innovation. I have aircraft down. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Aircraft down. We took the Mark II to the Goodwood Festival of Speed, biggest motorsport event in the world. Things did not go quite to plan. And for a moment I thought, that's it, the dream is over. We got to that, that field where it crash landed. The last thing to crash land in that field was a Spitfire, so at least we were in good company. Luckily, no one was hurt. We got extremely lucky there, but it was a sobering moment. This is a great vision, but we have to do it right. Whatever we do from here on out has to be safe, and we have to completely focus on safety before anything else. If we look back in history, the first cars weren't taxis. They were race cars. It stands to reason that this will be true for, for flying cars as well. The industry needs a place to be able to learn from crashing and learn from racing. Motorsport has historically offered that for the automotive industry. It's a safe space. It's where athletes and machines find each other and come together at the frontier of what's possible. Racing gave us innovations like seat belts, disc brakes, rear vision mirrors. All the basics um, come because there's an added focus on safety in racing. Long term, we see all these improvements will add up to advance us towards this future of, of flying cars in our daily lives and in our cities. What we learn from crashing in the short term improves the vehicle and keeps people safe. In the long term, these improvements add up to advance us towards the future of motorsport and the future of mobility. Each time we crash, we learn. And we never crash the same way twice. We want to keep all of our team safe, our pilots safe, the general public safe. We work incredibly hard to make sure that we've created an environment where we can test and fail and learn quickly and safely. And then you want to capture all the learnings you possibly can out of every failure. Crashing a, a, an aircraft is, uh, is not something you want to be doing on a daily basis typically. Financially, that, that's hard. Um, Engineering-wise, that's hard. It takes time and a lot of effort and a lot of money to, to build these machines. So every time we, we crash, we also want to extract maximum learning, huge amounts of data, getting that back and making it usable as fast as possible um, to the engineering team. We want to be testing to failure one day and within a, a, a few days of that, taking the learning, redeveloping the part, getting out and flying again and moving forward. So airspeed is crucial for creating that environment where we can learn safely and it's also about bringing together the world's best technology partners to make sure that we are capturing those learnings. Only by evolving a vehicle through multiple small changes very, very quickly do we end up with something that is efficient, powerful, fast, safe. We want to build vehicles that anyone can own and anyone can fly. And so what we learn from racing and crashing will make those vehicles the safest vehicles in the sky.